All right, hello everyone. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. This is actually take two of episode two of Binder organiza Organization on my channel. I did do a first take, but I stopped midway because I've recently been dealing with some health problems. Uh, so concerning like my stomach and stuff, and I haven't figured out what's going on yet. I've it's affected my outside collecting like life and stuff like that with work and stuff so everything i've has been like put on a back burner like low priority so i've decided that now today was kind of not a good day for me so i decided that now that i'm feeling a little bit better kind of like you know get my mind off of things and just focus on something that will kill some time and you know help me feel better so I am refilming my episode two because on my first take, I was not feeling that great. I was feeling a little dizzy and then I realized that I was messing up on some stuff and that things were out of frame, things like that. So we're gonna do this today. So I have my pile of things here, all here. I organized a lot beforehand. Ooh, <laughs> I'm on my camera. I organized a lot beforehand because I knew that I was going to mess something up if I tried again without organizing. And I did put some extra pocket pages where they needed to go. So we're first going to start off with the main binder. Let's hope this is in frame because I noticed last time when I was filming that things were getting cut off of frame. I think we'll, we should be good there. All right, so first thing we are doing is we are going to Wii Eye. I don't know if I showed this to you after my first episode of my binder organizing, but I did decide that I wanted to collect Donghan's pre-order benefits for the Wii Eye era. So here are most of what I'm trying to collect. I might not collect these two, but I do have most of these coming. And then we have challenge. I did also, I also organized this off camera a couple months ago after my first episode for Challenge Era. And then I think I have these cards already, so I forgot to put a filler for them, but that's fine. So we have more pre order benefits. All right, so here we have action. So I'm going to put. I hate people driving by my house. I hate it. I hate it. It makes so much noise. Anyway, so I have the filler in here. This looks kind of weird. It, I had an issue with my cutter. <laughs> it actually, I think, broke a part of it. So that's sad. So here, the Make Star A benefits are going to be in here. And then the next three pages will be the three versions of album inclusions. I'm not going to do anything for pre order benefits yet because. I don't know when they're going to officially stop and so I don't want to like just keep on having to add more and more to it because they have not finished yet. So I should have here all three versions prepared. There's a spoiler but I have red velvet there. Alright so alright so I'm doing it, of, I don't think I'm doing it in the correct order, uh, but I'm doing it in the order that I received my albums because that's how I started organizing everything. So it's going to be Ocean Roller Wave. So for Ocean version, there are actually six cards in total because there are three photo cards, a Polaroid and two group cards. And then for Roller and Wave, there are three photo cards, a Polaroid and a unit PC, only one. So it's gonna be 655, so. So I'm doing a simple 222 for this version, starting with the Polaroid, then the PCs, then the group. Thank you. 
All right, so for roller and wave, I just did a simple Polaroid on top, PCs in the middle, and unit on the bottom for both. And then we have season's greetings. So next we are skipping Wikimeki and GWSN. So I realized I did this <laughs> in my first take, but I do have the rest of my fillers for Red Velvet that I was missing completed. So I have the first three eras here. I actually have all these cards as well as Russian Roulette on the way. Uh, surprisingly, I was able to find them for pretty cheap on Yokio. Cheap considering that they're older cards for Red Velvet and they weren't um, SM Town Museum cards, which was shocking. So we have Fresh and Met, Rookie, and Red Summer. Now for these eras, the cards are a bit more expensive. Way too expensive. And then Perfect Velvet for this page. And then for this page. We have RBB and Summer Magic. All right, and then we have Seasons Greetings. Oh, I did not know that these pocket pages had that. Okay, I'll do that later off camera. All right, now we're at Monster. So we're gonna skip these and go to the last two pages. This is pretty disorganized, I know, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> so, again, we have six cards for Like Water and for Hello. They are just three different ones for Case and three different ones for Photo Book. Because you know, SM likes to do only one card each album because they like to skimp out unfortunately all right so i'm just, i'm doing the 222 but instead i'm doing it where the this i have i consider it as one of my filler papers Luckily for this collection, I ordered two copies of each version when I should have done three, but it's fine. Uh, I did not get any dupes, so I have two different ones for photo book and two different ones for case. I guess I'll consider them one and two. But yeah, I was very lucky with that. All right, and now we have Joy. And this will be the last page for this binder that we have to work on. We just follow the same thing for Wendy to two 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 with the this as the filler, and we are done with this binder. So next we are going on to binder number two. Right. Okay. So a majority of this binder is going to be ace related. So if you notice, if you even remember, I did have on this only like one or, one or two pages for inclusions and it was with the Mad Squad era and the beginning of Butterfly Fantasy. But I am trying to complete the Butterfly Fantasy and Siren Dawn eras uh, for WoW. So with that in mind, I was able to like organize this a little bit easier and stuff like that. So I took out Mad Squad because I don't know when I'm going to start collecting that anytime soon. So with that in mind, we have the filler here and I think I'm going to put this in the middle. Let's see. Or I might do the same as Joy and Wendy because I think there's 12. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I mixed, I mixed it up. I'm sorry. 
the mask card should be sub case shop all right okay all right okay so i think i remember what i did here so i'm going to put this in the middle and then i'm going to do eight here and then i'm going to have another eight with a paper in the middle because i think inclusions wise it is 16 cards in total that i decided to collect so I realized I made a mistake and it's actually supposed to be 12, I think. And Siren Dawn is 16 inclusions, if I'm not mistaken, so. I was, I was struggling, I was like, I forgot how many I did. Okay. And now, so that's it for Butterfly Fantasy. I have a lot of these cards on the way and it is mainly because of Neokyo. So thank you Neokyo for helping me finish a WoW collection, finally. All right, this should be everything. Yeah, all right. That was Siren Dawn. I did a simple eight and eight with a filler in the middle because I decided I'm only doing album inclusions. I think I'm only doing sub K shop because that was the first time I purchased my album uh, for Butterfly Fantasy. And while I was waiting for a group order uh, copy and then for uh, the Make Star card, I didn't realize it was a Make Star card when I ordered it off of Neokyo. So I'm just keeping that. And then for shiny, I uh, have not made fillers for keys for these older eras yet. Um, I have an odd card coming in the way with an actual copy of the album. I do have everybody and I don't think I'm going to collect the bookmark. And then I have Sherlock and Misconceptions of You. I think those are the cards I, might, I think I have. I don't have any for one in one. I do have Story of Light episode 2 and 3. Then uh, I do have a few cards in here. And then I now officially have Atlantis completed. <laughs> Thank God. But we have a filler here. So that's all we were missing for this page. Alright, and then we have Don't Call Me posters, both units. Um, as for solos here, I think I'm gonna move this eventually, but I do think I have another key solo card from Face coming on the way uh, with a copy of the album, which is amazing. Uh, Never Gonna Dance Again, I'm really tempted to try and find the rest of the cards I'm missing on Neokyo, but they're selling them for like as much as me buying a normal album, so we're holding off on that. And then here, here, I do have advice. I think all these fillers, I just put them here, but I want to try and complete the set. 
but I'm not gonna put any other filler cards in here because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this page. I'm just marking it as a thing. All right, Stacy. I have a filler, It's cut, it got messed up while I was cutting it, so, but it's still serviceable, it's fine. And we do have this card and this card, or I think it's this one. Uh, we have these and I'm still looking for the last Satem card. And then, last but not least, we do have Brave Girls for Summer Queen. Uh, so far, I am only doing keeping what I'm pulling. I don't know if I'm going to do a collecting OT4 kind of thing, because I only purchased one copy of each version, and I have a Min Young and Yuna. If you did not watch that video, you could go watch it. Uh, I'll, I'll card it there with my album unboxings playlist. I'm just gonna leave it like this, kind of like the same for advice, just to have it as a marker, and then I figure out what I do with it when I storm them. So yeah, CLC stays the same. Support Eugen on Girls Planet 999. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. And yeah, on all the rest of the cards in the back are my up for trade cards. All right, and that was it for this video for episode two of my binder organization series. Don't know when the next one will be because it's been a few months since my last one, but I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I usually make unboxing videos, photo card hauls, binder organizations, storing photo cards into my binders, stuff like that. So if you are interested in seeing that type of content, please be sure to stick around so you know when you get updated on that. And uh, all of my usual links are in the description, social media, resources, things like that, and the song recommendation that I have for this video, which will be Shadow by FX. It is, I think, their main B-side on their Pink Tape album, which is the album uh, with the title track Rum Pum Pum, if you know that song. It is one of my favorite FX songs. I really like how they do that experimental sound. It kind of sounds like a little weird at first, but like you get into it at the end by the end of the song and they used it for like their art film teaser thing. I really love that song a lot. So I do hope you enjoy that as well. If you would like to trade or buy a photo card from me, you can follow my trade and sale Instagram account, Daniel XRDC Trades. I'm pointing here cause I'll have a picture of it there. So make sure to give it a follow and you can stay updated on when I post new things up for trade or sale. I am doing uh, trades and sales internationally, but only for like photo cards, not for bigger inclusion and I do have a count of how many international stamps I have at the moment in my bio in case you want to see if I can trade or not. I'll be sure to update that as frequently as I can whenever I use one and I also try to update my wish lists and uh, my proofs and receipts on my highlights so if you want to go check that out you can there as well and I do have some cards there for groups I collect such as We I, Wakimeki, uh, Red Velvet, it and stuff like that and I do also have most if not all of my G friend collection up first trade and sale I do have some stuff from time for the moon night apple and mago eras so if you would like to go check that out I am trading them for groups I collect or selling them so be sure to check that out if you're interested if you are going outside please follow all the necessary precautions you need to take in order to keep yourself and those around you safe and healthy I hope you all have a great day and I will see you sometime soon maybe i'm going to focus on getting better before i continue filming uh more frequently so uh wish me luck and i hope you all are doing great and i will see you soon bye for now